Uh, hello, uh, my name is uh, Wasim Swali, and I am a cloud solution architect working with, uh, with Merontis. And today, uh, we will be talking on how we could use Lens uh, in order to collaborate on managed Kubernetes clusters, like, for example, EKS and EKS. But uh, first, you have this uh, uh, scavenger hunt. So just uh, collect these uh, QR codes, and then you can come to the beer carton to collect your prices. Uh, so don't worry. I will display again this slide uh, at the end of the talk. So yeah, uh, this is Lens. Uh, it's basically a Kubernetes IDE that you could download and uh, install on your uh, laptop. It could work on uh, MacBook, Linux, Windows. Here, for example, I'm using a MacBook. And uh, this is the, uh, uh, the main, actually, where we could see all the Kubernetes clusters that um, I have added. We could see, for example, uh, K0S, uh, the zero friction Kubernetes from uh, Mirantis. We could see, like I have here, Minikube, for example. We could see Rancher. And of course, we could see EKS, uh, so Kubernetes cluster from AWS. Uh, so in order to add a new cluster, it is very easy. So here, for example, I will show you how to add a cluster. I just need to add the uh, cube config. Yeah, and that's it. Um, and then I could, for example, uh, customize it a bit very quickly. For example, let's call it MKE. This is another distribution from Mirantis. Here we go. We have our Kubernetes cluster that we could start uh, using it. So now, uh, let's go to uh, EKS. So this is basically uh, EKS. So this is the main uh, display where we could see the uh, telemetry. Uh, so by default, Lens would leverage the uh, uh, Prometheus stack uh, if there is any uh, already installed. Otherwise, it's very easy to ask Lens to install this Prometheus stack for you. For example, here I could go to uh, Settings, uh, Lens Metrics, and then I just need to activate this stack. And in a couple of minutes, so Lens would uh, install uh, the uh, uh, Prometheus and uh, start to pull these metrics. So here, for example, we could see the uh, CPU usage, memory, and the pods. So let's dig deeper. For example, if we click on nodes, we could see, of course, the, uh, 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 here we have only the workers because uh, the masters are handled by, by AWS, right? So here, if I click on one uh, worker, for example, we could see, of course, the, uh, the uh, uh, memory, CPU, disk, ports. We could see, for example, the internet uh, IP, the external public IP. We could see, for example, uh, that it is uh, ready. It's already in the cluster. We could see how many uh, CPUs we are using, but, and of course, all the pods that are uh, in uh, this uh, uh, worker. We could see that are uh, actually up and running. And uh, of course, if we have enough uh, uh, rights, we could leverage these extra options here. We could exec to the node. We could, for example, coordinate. We could like drain it. And we could do a lot of things. Of course, this is ECAS cluster. So it's not recommended like doing it from here. So let's go now to the uh, workload. We could have a very good knowledge about uh, what's in there. We could see the pods, deployments, demon sets. It's like one single point of view. 
and this is a little extension uh, uh, in order to show you how it is deployed. So I will come back to the extensions later on. The same way, we could have here the pods. I can see, for example, in the default namespace, I have these uh, pods here. I could go uh, uh, click on one of them. Again here, uh, we could have a very good knowledge about the pod. And we could, for example, exec into the pod we could, for example, get all the logs of this pod, and we have a lot of uh, features and functionalities. So uh, the same way with deployments, daemon sets, stateful sets, replica sets, etc. So here, for example, let's click on this deployment. We could see that we have a lot of deployments that are already uh, here. and. Uh, uh, if I want, I could just have a terminal session. So this terminal session would put me directly into the context of this ECAS cluster. It means if I deploy something in this terminal session, let's say I would like to, to deploy WordPress. So very easily we could see that it's deployed into this context. If I click here in this mini cube and I deploy something, it would be uh, uh, it will automatically switch context. So as you could see, it's very easy to handle like different uh, Kubernetes clusters. And again, if I take this Word WordPress, for example, uh, so I could leverage these extra options. I could, for example, scale it. Here it's only one pod with a few clicks. I could have like multiple uh, pods. We could see here the new desired state, and now we have three pods, which are already uh, so up and running. Uh, so same way, we could have like uh, the configs. We have the uh, config maps, secrets, so the resource quota, which is related to uh, uh, namespaces. So same thing with the networking. We could have, for example, the, the services. Here, for example, I deployed at Apache. And um, I would like to know whether it is working or not. So it's very easy. I just click here in Apache. And then I make some uh, port forward. Yeah. You could see that I could uh, uh, find very easily what's happening with my uh, uh, cluster and all the deployments on my cluster. So same with the storage. Here we could see, for example, the uh, storage class on uh, AWS. And uh, here we could see all the events that are happening with my clusters within a click as well. And uh, this is for a certain time. I could go down. Uh, there is one uh, more interesting feature. It's uh, Helm charts. So um, as you can see here, I could see all the Helm charts that I already deployed. So for example, I have this Apache that has been deployed. And by default, with Lens, we have some uh, uh, actually, uh, we have some repositories which are already added, like uh, Bitnami, for example, or I have my own repositories that I add uh, actually myself. And uh, of course, these are the default uh, Lens features, but in order to make it grow easily, we have the Lens extensions. So if I go here, I could see that um, I'm having different extensions. We have some extensions which are developed by Mirantis, uh, some extensions which are uh, developed by uh, some of our uh, partners, like, for example, Aqua Security, this uh, Starboard uh, 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 extension that is able to uh, so analyze and uh, give the CVs. We have the uh, KubeCos extension, for example, or you could like develop your own extension in order to really fit your needs. So this is a very interesting extension. For example, 
it's called the resource map. So this would give you a very good idea about uh, 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 all your cluster and how applications are developed. For example, if I take the uh, Apache that I uh, already uh, deployed with Helm charts. So let's zoom in. We could see here that uh, it's uh, so deployed by Helm charts. Here, we could see, for example, uh, uh, we have this deployment, and then we have the pod, and we have the service. We could see uh, that, uh, thanks to the right colors, the, the pod is up and running, and my application is up and running. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there is one more functionality that I wanted to show you today. So, okay, so now I can handle my cluster, it is uh, fine, but how can I share it with a colleague? So, one way would be to share the cube config, but the thing is, uh, it's not very secure. So, we developed with uh, Lens, the, uh, uh, so Lens spaces. So, it's very easy to uh, create a new space. Here, for example, I have multiple spaces, um, and I have already created one for Open Infra, for example. So there is my colleague, uh, Robert, who just joined the company. And um, actually, this is, so Robert VM, he just actually freshly installed Lens, so he doesn't have anything. You see that the cluster is uh, uh, empty. So here, within a few clicks, so I just need to actually right click uh, here. And then I add this cluster to team space. And then I would select uh, uh, the uh, uh, team space and the region, and I just apply. So actually, I already did this, this for ECAS because it may take like a few minutes, but let's do it again for this uh, mini cube. So I will show you how to share, for example, this mini cube. So here, I add cluster to lens spaces, I select the space. So let's uh, select this open infra space. I select the region. It should be the closest, like between myself and my colleague, right? Let's say like Europe, for example. I just hit, so add cluster to team space. Yeah, and uh, I, I could see that it was added successfully. And then, I could just go to this space here and check what was added to this uh, space. So here I could see that uh, we have this EKS and then after a couple of uh, minutes, so depending on the network, we will have as well this mini cube added there. And so if I go to my uh, uh, colleague's VM here, so he would be invited through message uh, to actually join this space, and so he will join the space, and then he would go to his space, and then he could find that uh, we have this mini cube and ECAS. He just need to click here and to add it to the hot bar, for example, to make it easier, and then he could start to leverage uh, this uh, cluster and to uh, uh, work on it. Yeah. So this is all I had for you today. So thank you for joining this uh, session. And uh, yes, I, um, I have also a few hats. So please feel free to take if you want, if you want. Thanks a lot.